So earlier in the week we learned how to measure angles and find the measurement of an angle using a protractor or um, you know basically given if it's a right angle we know that it's 90 degree angle. Um, looking at acute what those measurements might be and if it's an obtuse angle knowing it's greater than 90 degrees but less than 180. So we looked at that the first part of the week. Now we're going to look at finding the unknown angles. Ah, so we give in a protractor and we know that we can use the protractor to find one angle. But what if it doesn't, you know, allow us to find the unknown? So if you're looking at finding the unknown, we're going to start with the easiest, a little harder, and then move to the hardest one. So let's look at the first problem. We've got angle A, B, D. What can I tell right off the bat? Well, right off the bat, I can tell that A, D, B is probably a 90 degree angle. So I know that angle A, B, D probably equals 90 degrees. Now I don't have a protractor to actually put it on there, but I can tell that it's pretty close to a right angle, and so I'm going to say it's close to 90 degrees. And they've given me that C, B, D, so angle C, B, D, is equal to 60. So they gave me this is equal to 60 degrees. And they're asking me to find angle A, B, C. Now, looking at that, you're like, hmm, how do I go about finding that? Well, if we know that a, B, D is our big angle and it equals 90 degrees, then if this little angle, angle equals 60, I know that has to add to 60 to get 90. So I'm going to do the inverse property to try to figure out that angle. And I'm going to say, okay, 90 minus 60. Most of you can do it in your head. 0 minus 0 is 0. 9 minus 6 is 3. So I know that A, B, C is equal to 30 degrees. Just I forgot my degree sign there on the 60. So I know that my question mark equals 30 degrees. So if I wanted to look at another one, I could say, here's my angle. Okay. So now I can see it's a 90 degree turn again. So I know that that's a 90. And they're going to give me this angle of 25 degrees. So I know if my big angle is 90 degrees minus the 25, more on the floor, go next door, borrow 10 more, the 0 becomes a 10. 10 minus 5 is 5, 8 minus 2 is 6, so my missing angle here is 65 degrees. So just some examples there. Now let's look at the bigger angle here. I know that E, F, H is a straight line. So what do I know about a straight line? It's considered a straight angle. So I know EFH is a straight line. It's 180 degrees. That straight line is 180 degrees. And we learned that a couple of videos back when we talked about straight angles. They have to measure 180 degrees because they're a straight line. So I know that EF and H is 180 degrees. And they also gave me that this big angle here was 115 degrees. Now, how did I know it went here instead of here? Well, I looked at the number 115, and I know it's got to be greater than 90. So this angle here is greater than 90. This one here is smaller than 90. So if they're giving me one of the angles, even if I didn't have numbers or letters on this, I would know this one has to be the 150 because this is my obtuse angle. So 115 degrees. So I'm going to say that angle G, F, 
H is equal to 115 degrees, then they want me to find this, which is angle. You could call it G F E. And that's what they're wanting to find. Well, just like over there, I knew this was 90 degrees, so I could subtract from this, but this is 180 degrees. So now I'm just going to come over here and do the math. 180 minus 115. Go next door, borrow 10 more. 10 minus 5 is 5. 7 minus 1 is 6. And 1 minus 1 is nothing, so I'm just going to leave it blank instead of putting my 0 there for a placeholder. So now I know that my question mark equals 65 degrees, and GFE is equal to 65 degrees. Okay, now let's move to a little more complicated issue. Wow, Whew. got a lot of arrays here. I've got one given, right? Or maybe even two, but I'm gonna, I see the first one right off the bat. So I'm gonna put it down first. So angle A, B, C, I know is a straight line. So when I know that's a straight line, I know it's 180 degrees. So I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write down what I know. What do I know first? Let's start with that. Then I can look and say that EBC or EBA is equal to 90 because here I can see both of these make right angles. So I'm going to say angle E, B, A is equal to 90 degrees, but angle E, B, C is also equal to 90 degrees. So that helps me tremendously. I know my big angle is 180, and I know this middle angle, splitting it in half, is 90. So those are the two that, right off the bat, I know. I know the straight line, I know my right angle, must mean that it, these two angles here are equal to 90. But they have to give me a little given. They can't just expect me to guess, especially without a protractor. So they did give me one given. of 22 degrees to start off with. So I'm reading through the problem and this is what they give me. They say that angle F, B, C, so angle F, B, C is equal to 22 degrees. So how am I going to find this angle here? Okay, so go back to what is the missing part? Okay, kind of like our old subtraction, and we've got the part, part, whole. So if I know that my whole is 90 and part is 22, I've got to find that other part, okay? So how do we do that? We do it with subtraction. So I'm going to come over here and do 90 minus the 22. More on the floor, go next door, borrow 10 more. 10 minus 2 is 8. 8 minus 2 is 6. So now I know that this angle is 68 degrees. So now I know those both equal to 90, these equal to 90. I keep reading my problem. When I read in my problem, it says that A, B, and D is 59 degrees. I'm going to write my given in green. So I know that's 59 degrees. Again, I can put it in my part, part, whole. Now, I have all of this if I want to do a part, 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 whole and do it all in 180 just to figure out this little one, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to stick with the 90 so it's easier for me. So here's my part, or my whole is 90. The part that they gave me was 59. So all I'm going to do is subtract to find that missing part. Again, more on the floor, borrow 10 more. 10 minus 9 is 1, 8 minus 5 is 3. So now my unknown angle is 31 
degrees. So I know that that unknown angle is 31 degrees. So even though it looks hard to start off with and you've got all of these different angles going in different directions, it's not that hard. You just have to look for what you're given. And then once you find out what you're given, um, then you can take what you know, what you're given, and either add or subtract to figure out what that missing angle or that unknown angle is. So, Ms. Dyer has put in a um, practice page for you to practice this. Please play, pay close attention to what you are given and what it's asking for. That's very key. If you want to, print it out, use a highlighter, see what you're given, then use a different other highlighter, just like Ms. Dyer did, and I used two different colors here to help me. Even if you have to draw it out on scratch paper, use those two different colors. Maybe use two different pens, matte pencils, just whatever works for you and what helps you figure out to find that missing angle.